Okay, weather permitting, I am going to take the houseboat out on its maiden journey, at least for me. I'm going to run it through its paces, but before we do that, got a repair to do. So the previous owner, I guess in some high winds, they tried to load the boat up on the trailer. There's a 10 foot long 2x6 guide rail right here, board, that, that mounts onto the trailer and it helps just bring the, the boat up nice and square with the trailer, nice and straight and it doesn't get squirrely or anything like that or wind up off the trailer when you try to pull it out of the water. Anyways, they busted the board in half, which I'll show you in a little bit. This got badly twisted. It got, it was twisted, it was bent out and bent over. I stuck a rock bar down in here <laughs> and I got to pushing and pulling and I've got it bent back up straight. And I, I do still have to lock it down, but I've got it bent back in the position that the other one's in. It took some doing, but I got it done. This is the guide board that broke as an obvious problem, but all that is is just a treated 2x6 painted black with uh, indoor outdoor carpeting on it. So I went and got another 2x6, drilled and countersunk the bolts. Got the brackets mounted on here. Everything looks real good. Previous owner gave me some more of that indoor outdoor carpeting. Hopefully I've got enough to do this. So I'm gonna put some of the indoor outdoor carpeting on this and then I can get it mounted up. I certainly do not wanna load that houseboat onto that trailer without this guide board. Wind is supposed to be around 10 to 11 miles an hour today. That's not bad, but with this being a new vessel to me, I don't wanna take any chances. This is what they gave me. Trailer bunk padding. All right, let's go do it. Must be pretty well self-explanatory because there's no instructions. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Pull that nice and tight. I've never done this before, so I'm going to kind of play with it. Kind of like wrapping paper. Kind of like that right there. Yeah. Just like wrapping a Christmas present. Okay, the ends are wrapped. Now it's just a matter of trimming this off, keeping the razor blade right up against the board. Nothing hard about it at all. board looks good. I'll probably put some more staples down through here on the edge, turning the staples to go parallel with the board. Just because I got a little bit of loose material there and I don't, I don't like that. All right, we're back over here on the starboard side of the boat. That post down there is still rock solid and bolted down nice and tight. I'm going to leave this one loose where I can adjust it. That way I'm not having to fight this board once I get it up here because uh, I'm by myself as it is, and that always makes things difficult when you're dealing with long boards. I'm going to get that one side bolted up over there on the end, and then I'll come down here and make the necessary adjustments. Now this tube bracket has a little spacer. And these spacers aren't anything. All that is is that little uh, hot water PVC pipe is all that is. I busted the other one and I got to looking at it thinking I was gonna have to order another one. And I stared at it and I was like, you know what that looks like? It looks like hot water plumbing. So I went in the barn and sure enough, that's exactly what it was. go come on all right now it's just a matter of adjusting this where it needs to go 
in line with that other bunk board rail, tighten up the nuts, and that's all there is. She's ready to guide the boat back into the trailer. Easy peasy. This is all tightened up here. All right, that's done. Ready to launch. All right, here's our maiden voyage. It's running. Yeah. All right. Take two. The uh, shifter just wasn't all the way in neutral, so we had to play with it a little bit to start that motor. I'm going to go back here and make sure we got water shooting out the back. I don't see any water. Come on back a little bit more, Dad. I'm trying to see if there's any water coming out. There we go. Okay, we got water. Okay. We got water. move I didn't get my fenders out but I think I'm just gonna touch the uh, touch the dot and let dad come on well, the shallow as it floats it'll be all right. oh my gosh I think this thing's GPS do what mom I said as shallow as it floats you're probably all right anyway the bass yes, that six bass, inches uh, yeah. draft on it that guy was out there with a bass boat behind us fishing yeah. Turn sideways. It is kind of narrow there, ain't it? Yeah. Did you check your hole? Yeah, I checked the through hole. I didn't see any water coming in. All right, getting the hang of it. She doesn't go real fast, but it's real steady. Really liking this fish locator. It's got down scan, has GPS maps, all kinds of stuff. Engine sounding really good. We got a little visitor. So far, everything's checking out pretty good. Still got to figure out how to start the oven. We got the burners going on the top of the stove. So that's all good. I'm probably going to go mess with the marine head and see if I can figure out how to flush it. All right, we're just motoring back, taking our time. We're cruising at uh, just about five knots. Got a depth of 35 foot. Everything appears to be working really well, other than having a little issue with the uh, neutral 
getting it started. It's got to be just in the right spot. Alright, I think I want to like this. 